Good morning, everyone. Welcome to the Farm and Pastor's Wife. I'm so glad you're here. Today is going to be kind of like a day in the life of, but with a recipe. Uh, but I'm going to start talking to you a little bit before then because the recipe is going to be really quick. So if you're here just for the recipe, I will try my best to remember to link down below a timestamp that you can go to for the recipe. If by chance I forget, just fast forward till you see me cooking in the kitchen. Um, but it's going to be a delicious recipe. Whether you're watching your weight or whether you're not, it's delicious either way. So um, with that being said, welcome. Welcome back to all my loyal subscribers. I'm so glad you're here. If you're new, I would love for you to subscribe, hit that bell notification and give me a thumbs up and share my videos. I want you a part of this community. And it is, in my opinion, it is the greatest community on YouTube, but that's my humble opinion. <laughs> so anyway, the intro is a great time to hit subscribe if you haven't done so. So come back and we're going to spend the day together. Hey darling, can I tell you what's been on my mind? Sick and tired of the nine to five in the city light. We could get out of town See the beautiful world around Wanna see it now Pack our bags and get in that car Leave a little note and we'll drive real far Let's get out, we can leave this city Let's drive to the open Okay, so like I said, we're gonna have we're gonna have a recipe at the end of this video, and I can hardly wait. And it's one of those recipes that is either or. Um, you, you can make it; it can be healthy, but it can also just be good, decadent, and delicious. So um, that's what we're doing today. We're gonna make a blackened salmon, and I'm gonna show you ways. I'm gonna fix it a healthy way, but I'm also gonna share with you ways that you can, if you're not watching your weight, that you can bump it up. I mean, the salmon in all is healthy, uh, but as far as the side dish, show you how you can make that um, just good and fattening and delicious, or you can do it the way I'm going to do it and be healthy. So either way, it's a win-win recipe. So right now, um, it's about 10 o'clock, I think. Uh, I'm just putting away clean dishes and getting my dishwasher emptied out for some dirty dishes to go in. I have some of the leftover dishes from our church potluck <clears throat> to go in. It's a non-fix-up day, so I've just like flattened my hair out, and it's just what it is. So, take me as I Isn't there a song, Take Me As I Am? I'm not sure, but anyway, Take Me As I Am. <laughs> so, I'm going to start putting dishes away. I'll see you back in... A little bit and we're gonna talk about something fun I've got going on well it's an excitement I have that I've got to start working for well you guys already know if you watch my channel you know Brian and I will be married 25 years in just a few days and the day of our anniversary is our chicken sale day so we're actually selling chickens and we're gonna be all stinky and yucky and nasty and blah on our anniversary, but that's okay because we have a trip coming up. Now, I haven't told you guys where we're going. I had mentioned Aruba and several of you guessed Aruba, but I will just say it may not be Aruba. So, um, but it, I've got to start planning and it is going to be a warm area where we're going. So I need to, do you guys put your winter clothes, like, do you trade out your wardrobe each year, like pack away your summer clothes and get out your winter clothes and then pack up your winter clothes and get out your summer clothes. My house was built in the fifties and they didn't think a lot about closet space back then, I guess, because I've noticed in a lot of houses from that era, there's not a lot of closet play space. There are closets, but not a lot of them. And so I do have to pack up my winter clothes and um, 
so forth, you know, trade out seasons. So my summer clothes are packed up, of course. So I gotta pull them out. So I've cleaned up the guest room a little bit. I've got the bed cleaned off from Christmas stuff and um, I need to get out some summer clothes to think about our trip. So that's kind of fun and exciting to do, I think, anyway, because I got something to look forward to and something exciting that we've never done. Usually when we take a big vacation, it is family. We take the whole family um, when we take a vacation. Usually when Bryant and I get away, it's just for like a couple of nights in the mountains or a couple of nights at the beach. I mean, we just do a couple of nights here and there, but for a big vacation, we always go as a family. And so... This is the first time I will have been gone from my family and it's just Bryant and I. So I'm really excited, I'm a little sad because I, I wanna take the family with me, but uh, Bryant and I need a getaway um, for our anniversary. So, I mean, 25 years, y'all. He's put up with me for 25 years and I've put up with him for 25 years. It's been the best 25 years of my life. And I probably don't even need a getaway because life with him is, I mean, it's great. So, um, but we're doing something special and I'm excited. So that's what I may do in a little bit. I may start pulling out some summer boxes. <laughs> I dread that because that makes such a mess. But anyway, that's what may be happening later today. Hey everybody, Judabug and I are walking down to the mailbox. We have a pretty lengthy drive. I mean, it's not like really long. It's not like a mile long or anything, uh, but it's, you know, you don't just pull up and pull through the house. It's a little bit of a walk. Um, everything is a muddy, nasty mess around here. I don't know if you can see. There's ruts in the yard. <laughs> it's just messy. Uh, but it's chilly today, but it's a pretty day. So Judah and I we're coming out, we're walking to the mailbox um, because I have a first. I'm actually sending back my stitch fix. Um, I haven't had one in a very long time. I've had two firsts in a row. The last stitch fix box I got, which has been months ago, I kept everything. It was a five out of five. And I think this is the first time with Stitch Fix, I think, that I'm actually sending everything back. Nothing worked. Nothing. Um, yeah, poor Judah Bug. He's, he's, look, he's trying to get in the mailbox and he's trying to skip over the mud. It's a mess out here, y'all. I brought a bag because I knew I had a bunch of mail in here. Wait a minute, buddy. Bunch of mail. It, we've got a bunch of mail in the mailbox so I brought a bag to put it in and um, so let's get that out guys this right here full of mail ridiculous we're so bad we'll we'll check it and make sure there's nothing important and then we just don't bring it up to the house and deal with it um, so I'll be going through mail in a little bit but first, I want to take Judah in and read to him. So that's what we're going to do now. I've been working. I haven't had, hadn't really done anything with him today. Just made him some oatmeal. And he loved that. So we're going to go in the house. And we're going to read for a little bit. He likes his tablet. And his mom and dad were talking last night that we're going to have to start reeling in the tablet because he spends too much time on it. So, he's had his tablet for a little bit today. And for the next little while, he's not gonna have a tablet. I'm gonna read to him, we're gonna go outside and play. We're gonna work, he's gonna work on writing his name. And then, he may earn his tablet again later this afternoon, so. Come on, let's go in. We're gonna come out and play in a little bit, but not right now. After lunch. <laughs> okay guys, I'll see you inside. Okay, so I don't know if you remember my red and white Christmas tree over here. There was a box that I bought 
And every day that Judah and Levi came, they got to open the box and there was something in there. Usually it was books. Occasionally there was some candy in there. Occasionally there was a toy. Sometimes there was a coloring book and crayons. But most of the time it was a book. So this is a book we're gonna read. It's called The Honey Boat. I know nothing about it, uh, except that I bought it at Ollie's. And um, that Ollie's is a great place. If you have an Ollie's, it's a great place to get books at a really inexpensive price. So we're gonna start reading this, aren't we, buddy? His Grammy and Paw Paw live at the beach. So I have a feeling he's gonna be around, and we have a boat for the lake. So I have a feeling he's gonna have, we don't know how this is gonna go. We don't know how many, um, He's going to be around boats a lot, aren't you? I want to go with you to the beach. You do? Mm -hmm. Well, you're going to get to go to the beach in a couple of weeks because Bubbles isn't going to be here. And you get to go stay with Grammy and Papa. Papa. Bryant is Papa, and his other grandpa is Papa. So I get, I say the wrong thing every time. Anyway, okay, we're going to do some reading, and hopefully he'll pay attention. Okay, everybody, do y'all remember back a while there was a, there was a tire, a tractor tire that they were working on and I filmed them loading it and so forth. Judah, come on. He's playing. <laughs> um, so the tire has been fixed and it's been to the shop. It's been fixed. And so now I think we're working on putting it back on the tractor. So we're gonna go see what's happening up here. Daniel and Bryant's been working up here. There goes Judah. I need to just be sure Judah doesn't get in the way of the tire because that would be a heavy tire to fall on him. <laughs> Daniel's carefully bringing the tire. I don't know how much you can see because the sun's shining in my eyes. They're slowly working. Come around here, Judah, so you can watch. Yeah, it's too shiny. Well, go stand, look, go stand over there in the shade. He said it was too shiny out here. <laughs> you just stand right there, buddy. Just wait. While they're working, I thought I'd show you this monkey. Ooh, ooh ah, ah. <laughs> he said, ooh, ooh, ah. Isn't it wonderful to let boys be boys on a farm? He's filthy, dirty. We'll have to take his shoes and pants off in the porch, but that's okay. He's having a ball out here. And I'd much rather see him be playing like this than to be using that tablet or a phone, which I'm guilty of. I am so guilty of handing him my phone and letting it be a babysitter. But uh, we're going to start doing better about being outside and playing and exploring the wonderful world God has given us. Y'all, that tire is one heavy thing, let me tell you. All right, guys, we got the tractor on the, what's the thing that it comes out that it hangs on? The axle. The axle. And, um, and we've got it lined up with that. 
and they've just got to get the bolts on to straighten the tire out. See how we had to use the strap to... Uh... Yep, used a ratchet strap, a chain at the top, and a ratchet strap at the bottom to pull the bottom of the tire in. Tell whose idea the ratchet strap was. I wasn't going to brag on myself, but yeah, that was my idea. Because the um, tire was going in at the top, but it was kind of swinging out at the bottom. So I suggested getting a ratchet strap and cranking it in. And that that worked. But with a lot of effort. <laughs> Poor Daniel was on the ground with his feet pushing the bottom in. So anyway... It's on, and we'll check back later. Let's go check on Judah now. I have a feeling all this cold temperature we had recently has destroyed any cabbage I left out here. But let's go look. Take a quick look. Goodness, guys, I think the actual cabbage heads may still be okay. Um, the leaves look like they've been damaged and there's a head over there that looks kind of bad but I think we're gonna I can at least get two off of here so hmm and the cabbage that I pulled off the heads of cabbage that I pulled off look <laughs> they're all kind of like growing back and starting like a Oh my goodness, there's like three new heads of lettuce in here. <laughs> I mean, cabbage. That's crazy. So, Brian, tell us what the status of the tire is. Back in business. Back in business. Yep, back in business. Well, well you have a grandbaby that wants you to uh, take him on a ride. He's ready for a ride? Yep. Okay. Tomorrow, we're going to start tearing down the other... Sp Tomorrow we're gonna to start tearing down the other spreader truck, getting ready to swap B and show them the spreader truck up there. We're gonna move that. He thought way. I quit filming, but I, I didn't. I <laughs> you can't see it because of the, the sun. The sun, yeah, it's like. That's project tomorrow. Tomorrow's project spreader spreader truck bed. Now let's see what Judah's. Oh, Judah, don't mess that. Hey, let's see what his response to this question is going to be. Judah, you ready for some mac and cheese? Are you ready for some mac and cheese? Yes, 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 yes. Well, come on. Let's... I don't want to go yet. Oh, he don't want to go yet. He wants to keep playing. He's having a big time today, y'all. It's a great day to play outside. Okay, everybody, so Judah is off on the tractor with Bryant. They, he took him for a ride. Um, I have gone through the mail and filled up my trash can and filled up the bill drawer. Ugh. And um, so now I think I'm going to get some chicken nuggets in the air fryer for Judah. He loves mac and cheese, and I asked him about mac and cheese. And then I remembered the last time he was here, it was him and Levi, and I gave both of them the last two mac and cheeses. So, um, we're going to do chicken nuggets instead for him. So, we've been pretty active today, and it feels good. It feels good to be active. Yesterday, I didn't do hardly anything. Um, I went and worked the farm because Bryant had um, some hospital visits to make, so me and Daniel did the farm. And then I came back. And pretty much did nothing. I have struggled with um, my neck. My neck is like I've had a crick in my neck. And it's just, anyway, I've struggled with my neck. And it feels really good today. So um, I guess that's why I'm active today. But yesterday, I just, we had had such a busy, hard, fast-paced weekend. We It was go, 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 go every day. And um, so I just kind of took yesterday off after working the farm. And Caroline cooked supper. Bryant had a meeting last night, so he and they fed him at the meeting. So I went to Caroline's and she fixed tilapia. And so we had fish last night, and we're gonna have fish again tonight. But it's gonna be blackened salmon tonight. It's gonna be so good.
one of my favorites. Okay, I'm going to, in fact, I'm going to have fish for lunch. I'm going to fix tuna salad. What is it with me and fish here lately? But anyway, um, I'm going to get Judas some chicken nuggets in the air fryer, and I'm going to fix my tuna salad. And maybe by the time they're done, he'll be back ready for lunch. So, okay, it's been an active, fun day. Okay, everybody, so I thought it's time for supper. It's getting dark. It's actually later than what I normally start getting ready for supper. But I thought I would show you what I get. Now, this I get at Sam's, but they have one similar. I think the bag looks a little different, but um, they are frozen. But what I like about them is they are skinless. I do not like the skin, even if it gets crisp. I mean, it. I don't think I ever get it crispy enough. So, um, I like the skinless and boneless. And I think this is wonderful. They come pre-packaged. It's so convenient. Um, this is a little pricey at Sam's right now. You know how prices have gone up. But it's just so super convenient. Uh, but Walmart does have one. It's a smaller bag, I think. Um, but I love it. Love it. Absolutely love it. Now... What you can do is you can make you a rice risotto and maybe some broccoli and cheese. If you're going full fat, you don't care about carbs or anything like that, then that's what I would do. I'd make me a rice risotto, get you some rice aroni or something, put some heavy cream and um, Parmesan cheese in it, serve this up on it. Mm, so good. And make you some broccoli and cheese or, or whatever. Be delicious. But I'm going a little bit healthier of a route tonight but you're gonna do the salmon the exact same way well let me back up I'm gonna do my salmon in the air fryer however if I know not everybody has an air fryer I was late to the I was late to the party on the air fryers and the instapot and probably all the other gadgets because I just don't buy into them quite as early but I have to say, I love my air fryer. I love my air fryer. And, um, but if you don't have an air fryer, that's fine. Crank your oven up to 400 and do everything exactly the same. Uh, you may have to adjust your bake time um, compared to what I do. Um, but just watch it. And it depends on how done you like your salmon. Like, I like every piece of meat I eat. I like it good and done. Um. So, I'll probably cook mine longer than a normal person would. And I'm actually not sure how long I cook this. I just keep an eye on it. I'll let you know when when I get it out, how long it was actually in there. But, I'm going to show you how I get it ready. And let me just say, instead of the risotto I was talking about, if you're doing full fat, I'm actually going to do um, riced veggies. And I could put heavy cream and Parmesan in it and make it just like a risotto. In fact, I've done that and it is to die for. But I don't really have any heavy cream tonight. So we're going to do this kind of like an Asian style. I like this riced cauliflower because the few little peas that are in it and the few little carrots give it a nice little addition. And I like this a lot. I can eat plain cauliflower rice, but I do like this one a little bit better. And I don't think it adds as many carbs as I'm worried about. So, um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to cook, I'm going to steam this up in the microwave, just like it says. Then I'm going to drain it, put it in a frying pan, put a little bit of soy sauce, and then this will be ready. Not much soy sauce, but just a little bit. Um. But now, let me show you what I use to season my salmon with. And I get the um, Zatarain's Blackened Seasoning. I love it. I also cut my salmon up into little cubes. So, let me get these out of the package and I'll show you how I cut them up. All right, everybody. Here is my salmon. And I just... I've got it a little too soft but that's okay and I just and I need a flat surface
All right, let's do this on a flat surface. It's much easier that way. What are you making? I'm making salmon. Judabug's here wanting to know what I'm making, and I just cut it up into little cubes like this. Okay, and we're just going to place those back here in the bowl. It's going to be just me and Bryant tonight. Um, Is it going to be me? You're going to go home. You're going to eat at home with Mommy and Daddy. All right, and... I'm gonna so we are just gonna, I'm just cutting it up into cubes like this. When you're done, 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 <laughs> when I'm when, done, when you're done frying that, can I taste? Yeah, if you're still here, you sure can. Of course you can. He don't know what it tastes like and he wants to taste it. Now that's what I call an adventurous child. I've got to tell you guys about a learning app I've just signed up for for him. And we've already played like four or five games on it. And I am super in love with it. I actually heard about it from another YouTuber. So I checked it out today and I love it. And he actually likes it. Of course, he'd much rather, uh, he'd much rather watch his tablet or my phone. But he does like to use and play this game. So I'm super excited about it. Okay, and I am just going to liberally, liberally season this salmon. We're going to put all kinds of seasoning on it right here. And then we're just going to toss it around, and then we're going to do it again. All right, and we're going to season it again. So there you go. All right, now we're going to in the air fryer at 400. I'm not sure how many minutes I'm going to leave it in. I'll let you know. It depends. If you notice one of those pieces of fish was a lot thinner than the other. Um, so you may have to get out a few pieces ahead of time. I don't, but if you want some consistency, you can. All right, I'm going to get this in the air fryer at 400. I'm also going to put my cauliflower rice in the microwave and get it going. Okay, everybody, we're going to make a little poke sauce or sushi sauce or I'm not really, just some kind of sauce to go on it. And I started out with, I just took a big spoon and took out a pretty big dollop of mayonnaise. I'm going to come over here and grab my soy sauce. I use the low sodium soy sauce. So, if I get it open. So, I'm going to put just a little bit of soy sauce in here. And we're going to put a, a, you know, a good little, let me shake it up, some sriracha sauce. So we're going to add a little sriracha. All right. Whoopsie. I splattered it. Now we could put some garlic powder in this, um, some paprika. But I think I'm just going to I think I'm just going to leave it like this. I'm going to get a little whisk if I I don't have a little one. I need one of those little bitty teeny tiny whisks. I don't have one of those. <laughs> I think we're going to put some more sriracha in here. I think it needs a little more sriracha. Give this a taste. Perfect. Perfect. <clears throat> Maybe a little too much heat for Bryant, but perfect for me. All right, I'm going to get my salmon in the air fryer. My cauliflower's going. I'll meet you back when we put this meal together. Okay, guys, I just checked the salmon, and I would say nine minutes for your typical person who, um, I think that nine minutes would be probably perfect
for the salmon. I'm going to leave mine just a couple of minutes longer just because I like a little bit more done salmon. Um, I've actually started to get where I like it better. Not quite as done in restaurants. But at home, I'm probably going at least a minute or two more. Um, I've got my cauliflower. I put a little butter in here. I did steam it in the microwave. Then I poured it in a frying pan that I had toasted up pecan so I didn't mess up another. I just wiped it out and um, put a little butter in here. And right before we sit down to eat, I'll give a little splash of soy sauce. Nothing major. But, um, yeah, so I'll see you back when we plate this up. Okay, everybody, here is what my plate looks like all plated up. Caroline came in, tasted the salmon, and she says, oh, I want some. So I've got one defrosting in the microwave to fix her one. Um, I don't think she wants to cauliflower rice, though, do you? Okay. Um, wasn't sure. But I don't know where the camera's going, but it's leaving. <laughs> All right. We're going to come right back over here. And we're going to tilt it that way, yep. And I'm just going to drizzle this sauce all over mine. Now, Brian, I don't know, he likes to dip, I think. Do you like it drizzled or do you like to dip? Drizzled. Drizzled? Okay. <laughs> Levi, and you can hear the boys, they're having a ball in here. Yeah. All right, so here we go. Let's do... Caroline has already tasted and has decided to eat at Bubbles tonight. But let me give it a taste because I know how I feel about it. It's delicious. Mm. That is so good. All right, Daddy, your turn. All right, am I trying yours or mine? Yours. Not mine. <laughs> Here we go. What's the what's the seasoning you put on it? The blackening and season by Zatarans. That is perfect right there. Good stuff. Like a Cajun feel to it, you know mm -hmm. what I mean? With a little bit of a <clears throat> cool sauce, but and, yet with a little bit of bite to it. And served on that, that bit of cauliflower rice, this is pretty healthy. Delicious. Very healthy meal. But if you don't want healthy, fix you a rice risotto. Yep. Put you some heavy cream and Parmesan in it. Be delicious. You got to try this. I hope you've enjoyed the day in the life of today. and You kind of went with me throughout the day. That is delicious. Did they see me put the towel on the tractor? Yep, that's on this video. Hey, and you guys, let, let me know. Do you like the day in the life of, or do you want strictly cooking? So, um, this was kind of the best of both worlds. And um, so, let me know down in the comments below what you like. Her salmon is defrosted. I'm going to get hers in the microwave and, I mean, in the air fryer. And we'll see you next time on the Farm and Pastor's Wife, where if the grease is hot enough, you can fry anything. Bye, y'all.